Nice shot, buddy. Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Yacht. Um, Micah, uh, my neighbor Adam, uh, and I, we went out to that uh, the Milo field. Uh, I got some pictures back on my uh, spy point uh, Link Evo uh, Solar. Um, got them on my app. Uh, we had some rain over the uh, past few days, maybe in our weekend or something of rain, right? Yeah, yeah. at least um, quite a bit. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was really dry over the last maybe eight weeks or so that rain was definitely needed here in central Texas. Um, so the ground is pretty soft, it's not too muddy though, so it's actually, actually pretty perfect. But uh, humidity probably 100% tonight. Um, we were lucky actually we didn't get rained, uh, didn't get rained on yet. Um, it looked pretty bad on the radar. Um, but anyways, we had a pretty big bore show up on the, on the camera. Um, I posted it on, on my uh, Facebook uh, in the Texas Yacht on our uh, United States Hawk Force a Facebook group. Uh, if you're not on there yet, join that. Um, but yeah, this this big boy showed up, and and sure enough, uh, we were able to get him tonight in front of uh, the scope. We came out, Adam. That's your first hawk hunt, right? That's correct. Um, you're a bird hunter mostly, pheasant. Yeah, pheasant and deer mostly. Cool. Uh, was the first time thermal vision? Um, no, not first time. Military had thermals, ah. but outside of that. No. Military has the cool toys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyways, we come, we came out. We went to the the you know usual spot where we usually go in the corner of the field. Um, wind was actually pretty perfect for us. Came out of the east. Yeah, it's um, the east right now. But as it as it happens, they came out in the wrong corner. I know. Right? <laughs> so they came out uh, the opposite corner, I guess. So we had to cut back over in the field. Um, but it was a pretty good sounder. I I didn't have a thermal on me most of the time, but. What, 26. 26. Yeah. So we made our way around, um, had to cross the fence line. We have permission to go on this property and, and hunt here too. Um, so we were able to, to get around them, uh, get uh, downwind of, of them. And uh, well, we 
want to make sure Adam gets his first hog, and I think you, well, you did get your hog, but it went in the brush. Unfortunately, yeah. But um, like just sound-wise, um, you shot, and you could hear the thunk, and then yeah. ultimately the squeal right away. Yeah. So um, I don't think that that hog went very far, but you couldn't pick up a trail, unfortunately. Um, I took the the 308 um, uh, Steyr Tactical Scout. The bolt action um, suppressed, and I'm running the uh, the ATN uh, Excite 4K Pro. That's the 5 to 20 model. Um, I'm running the ATN IR850 uh, infrared light, and I actually had to switch over to this one. I used an aftermarket before, but uh, totally did not perform, and I have some video of that. The picture was not very good, so I swapped over to this one real quick, and the picture was much, much better. Um, b but maybe at 70 yards, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And um, <coughs> I wanted to go for the bore also because I had the 308, so I think the chances were just better with the 308 for that big guy. Um, and we gave you the countdown. Mm -hmm. You did three, two, one, and then uh, we went for it. He, I mean, he dropped. He I mean, dropped, he, right? The RT. Yeah. I didn't see him move. I think it was um, pretty much a shoulder shot. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, he went down. I, I'm the bolt action. I tried to reload real quick and see if I can pick another one. But then I guess you guys. Yeah, you got these guys. It was, we were in a good spot because when you shot, I think you actually shot first. It was fractions of a second. Yeah. But. They spread, they just split. Mm -hmm. Half of them half came left and half right. North and the other one went south. Mm -hmm. But it gave us opportunity to shoot. I'm sorry, I, did, I think I, yeah, I think I shot a little, a little, a little early. Um, problem though is with the, um, the infrared, that's the big difference between thermal and infrared. Yeah. Doing a follow up shot with this, this one is really yeah. uh, difficult because you don't, you don't easily see in your peripheral vision where they are, so it's really hard to follow up on something running. Um, but I mean, you, I don't know about your first one, Adam. We'll see in the video, I guess, later. But uh, your follow-up shot on oh, the second one or whatever definitely hit. It was beautiful. I mean, just yeah. hearing that. Yeah. The, fight, the shot. The and you, the squeal. You got that saw, Micah. Yeah. And the little one. That little one, yeah. How was your uh, image and everything? It was good. I mean, you know, the humidity does play a factor. I was doing white hot. Um, I think I actually prefer that better. Yeah. Because it takes that reticle and. Uh, it's just easier for me to see. Give me a little mm -hmm. bit more accurate with it. So. What do you think, Adam? Had a blast. Nice. Looking forward to doing some more. Yeah. So we got, uh, what is it, 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. more hours. Right yeah, right. we'll go back in the field and see if we can uh, get one for you on the ground now, Adam. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, cool. All right, guys. Nice job. All right. Texas Yard, boys. So we just took down this. Uh, Big boy bore, I'm guessing 275, okay? Yeah. 275 pounds. Um, wanted to see if I could, you know, find the, the projectile. I'm shooting the Barnes uh, Vortex 150 grain 208. So I just uh, took a stab at it and opened it up a little bit. And sure enough, sitting right down in there. That's usually how it goes with the Barnes Vortex, they uh, mushroom almost perfectly and uh, get stuck just under the skin on the other side. That bore dropped, there's a little spot. Entry somewhere right here. So, I guess it's the power of the 308. Welcome back to Texas, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's, right, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs>